I recently purchased an Apple Mac Mini M1. My office is an all Windows computer setup, but I invested in the Mac since I planned to release Mac OS software. I decided on the Mac Mini M1 with 16 gigs memory and 512 gig storage, since I wanted the maximum available memory and reasonable storage size. I also purchased a Hagabis dock for the setup, mainly for the external storage slot, which I populated with a Samsung 860 Pro 512 gig SSD. I had originally intended on mirroring the internal storage, which is why I went with a 512GB SSD, but I decided to partition the external drive in half for a time machine partition and a data partition. The Hagabis dock also brings additional ports out to the front of the computer. This video won't cover any Mac Mini M1 performance benchmarks, since there are many of those videos already on YouTube. Suffice it to say that using the default apps that ship with the Mac, its performance is very snappy and fast. The only peculiarity that I have ran into with it so far is an OS update that took about 30 minutes and which crashed the Mac video and the HDMI on my Dell monitor, requiring me to actually unplug the monitor to get it back to working. In my configuration, I am using the two USB-A connectors for a ducky mechanical keyboard and a Microsoft optical mouse. One of the Thunderbolt USB 4C type connectors is used to connect to the Hagabis dock, leaving me one spare Thunderbolt connector for such future expansion as a fast Thunderbolt drive. The new Apple Mac Mini M1 is supposed to be shipped with a 512GB internal NVMe solid state drive. However, the internal drive in both system information and disk utility reported as only a 500GB drive. So Apple is shortchanging owners of the Mac Mini M1. In the following screenshots, you can see the comparison of the internal NVMe drive with an external Samsung 860 Pro 512 gig SSD in the dock drive port. For those people who claim that it is discrepancies in size between bytes and gigabytes, or that the OS is taking up part of the space, or it is BIOS space, or that there is a hidden partition, look again. This is the actual bytes of full hardware drive space for all partitions on that drive. The Apple Disk Utility and System Information is showing the full capacity and bytes of the full drive. Apple calls this an Apple SSD APO 512Q, but its full capacity and bytes is 500 billion, not 512 billion. The industry standard sizing for drives is in bytes. An actual 512 gig drive is 512 billion bytes, not 500 billion bytes. I have yet to see any response from Apple regarding this discrepancy. I tested all of the ports on the Hagabis dock with real-world data, and here is the results.